Be sure to check out FIFACoinsOnline.com for the best deals on FIFA coins for a place you know that you can trust. What's up guys, Curtis here and welcome to Swansea City Career Mode. I think we're on episode 12, I don't really know but all I know is that we are quite a way in. We're now halfway through January, we're hoping to pick up a player or two either in this episode or the next one uh, and we have a pretty important league game here up against Everton. We need to start knocking in some wins, getting some good results and then we've got the Capital One Cup semi-final second leg coming up very soon. So it's starting to get very very interesting indeed. So we go straight in, we're using our usual 4 2 3 one formation, Danilo, Nastasic, Zuma, Shaw at the back, Britain and Augustin is starting at the back for, uh, in the middle for the first time for a while, then we have Hernandez, Coutinho and Lamar and then Ibarbo up top on his own, obviously with Mitri being injured, not a lot else to do but it didn't take long for Ross Barkley to climb and score an absolute beautiful header, great leaping jump to get onto it and give Everton the lead very early on but uh, Lamar used his absolutely brilliant pace to just easily get past Tony Hibbert and then whip the ball into the box onto the head of Coutinho of all players to uh, knock that down into the back of the net and equalise just before half time and it went in up at half time at one all was looking uh it was looking alright. I suppose a 1-0 draw against Everton would have been good nonetheless, but uh, they drop kicked the ball out. We managed to win the header from it. It dropped straight to Ibarbo, who turned one player, was being fouled, but just the other player just seemed to move out of the way and allowed a really easy near post OP shot there for Ibarbo to give us the 2-1 lead, but we was not finished there. 82 minutes in, Coutinho picking up the ball and running at the wingers, doing some pointless skills, but actually there wasn't too pointless. And Augustin, for his first start of the season, knocked it down to Ibarbo. He got a bit of a sloppy goal, but nonetheless, it was still a goal. And that gave us a 3-1 lead up against Everton, and that was how it finished. A 3-1 lead is absolutely fantastic, and a 3-1 win is brilliant to get against a team like Everton. And that proves that Swansea are marching up this table. We can do it. Come on, the Swans. That means, uh, I'm not sure exactly where that leaves us in the table. That leaves us in 8th with uh, 37 points. Just 6 points off Champions League spots, which is not too bad at all. We got a little bit of extra budget there for doing well in the FA Cup. That may have even been an FA Cup game. I may have just been completely wrong with that there. It wouldn't surprise me if it was, and I'm just being stupid. But next we have a cup, uh, no, a league game against Stoke, rather. And uh, it's uh, like lately people have been saying don't sim away games you don't get anything from it and they've been saying if you're going to sim any games sim home games they're relatively safe so I do actually sim the game against Stoke in a second we do some uh, some changes around here change a few things up change a couple players in um I try and go for players with higher rating that I wouldn't usually use uh, when doing stuff like this. So I think, oh, I didn't actually do it. Usually I'd play Chico. I think he might have been injured, actually. And uh, we simmed the game up against Stoke. And uh, I, I needed a win. We need a win in the league. We need to start picking up some more points and just uh, try and make that push, at least for Europa League. And we picked up the lead there with Lamar, 19 minutes in. Absolutely fantastic for him to get that goal. He'll be going back after his loan at the end of the season because obviously we had him on loan. We've also got the Guzman on loan. And I also think we've got someone else. I thought it was key, but it turns out it's not. But uh, someone else is on loan, so uh, that is, that's is—that's going to affect it slightly. But key anyway managed to get the third goal for us there after Coutinho picked one up. And uh, that made it 3-0 by the time it finished. And that's a very, very important win. That That is stuff that we need to be getting. We need to be getting the big wins to boost our goal difference up against teams like Stoke. So uh, as you can see here, we had some transfer offers for Key and for Donnelly. Uh, I decided to eventually reject the one for Key, but I did accept the one for Donnelly. Going to PSG on loan, even if he plays a couple games will be absolutely fantastic experience for him so I hoped to send him out there and hope that he can actually go up a few ratings even that way if we can get him to like mid 70s we might actually just be able to use him like on the bench and stuff could be vital to have but uh, we come up against now in a second uh, we have Wigan in the uh the semi-final of the Capital One Cup, the second leg, after drawing the first uh, game 2-2. As you see here, I put a ridiculous counter-offer there for Coutinho in case they decided to follow up, because I wouldn't say no to 24 mil for him. Uh, we make a few changes. Our players are a little bit tired, but not too bad. We managed to rest enough of them from the Stoke game to not really have an issue with it. And uh, that was the basically the starting 11 that we went for. You, pretty much our strongest one, the one that we go for if we can. Uh, I tried to go for Sterling because I felt like the pace against their three at the back would help having it out wide because uh, they obviously have Figueroa, Alcaraz and Caldwell which isn't too quick of a back three and uh, 21 minutes in I think we got quite lucky here somehow I do not know how that was a penalty you'll see the uh, the replay in a second but it was just a simple simple tackle that was slightly mistimed I think I was very lucky to get a penalty for it as you'll see here run into the box and uh, he kind of just sticks out the slightest leg I would not count that as a uh, as a penalty one bit 
But uh, so we gave it the penalty to who did we give it to? We gave it to a Barbo, and uh, I went. I think I tried to like take a. Oh no, I didn't stutter, but he saved it nonetheless. And uh, that's not good. We need to be winning this game. We need to get a win. Obviously, so we can get to the Capital One Cup final. And it looks relatively even. Our shot on target was a penalty, but nothing happened in the second half until we made this sub. I felt like it had to be done. I bought on Lamar, Hernandez, and De Guzman, trying to spice up. I bought De Guzman on for key. He's a little bit more attacking for a, like a CDM. And then two relatively quick wingers to uh, get some pace back into the side. And a counter attack from their free kick, almost straight after bringing on my players, man, Ibarbo could tap it across to Lamar with his first touch of the game, score a sweaty trampy goal. Now I'm not going to complain about that because we need to score goals and we needed to get into the final which we have now done. So a 1-0 simple lead there. We absolutely dominated them in terms of like shots and stuff and as you can see we now have Chelsea in the Capital One Cup final. That will either be next episode or the day after so that should be pretty awesome. We had a few transfer offers and stuff going on here. Uh, play, uh, games being rescheduled which isn't good for us because uh, our fixture congestion is bad enough as it is, but uh, we have another offer here for Coutinho, and I just decide no, go away. I don't, I don't want to sell him to you. Uh, he's been pretty decent for us, and we'll keep growing. So uh, we get ready for our next game, which is up against West Ham United. Now we could do uh, that's in the FA Cup, but uh, nonetheless, that will be in the next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this career mode video. Leave a like if you did enjoy it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Please keep showing the amazing support you have been. Any likes would be super appreciated. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I will see you next time. Bye.